Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he, she, they's, and can't quite say's. My name is Lee Nitrous, and on behalf of Dive Wrestling, we are here for the stage dive, where I give dive stars the stage. I'm here with El Presidente himself, Mr. Matthews. Trey, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. Um, you know, my neck's feeling okay, and... Uh, you know, I, I'm sorry, I can't really... I'm pretty pissed off right now. Fair. Like, all this bull going on with me and Bronson and... I mean, I'm sure we're going to get into it, but yeah, I'm not very happy. Rightfully so. So let's do jump in. So the last couple matches, you've been on a streak. You've been a madman Matthews himself. Just jumping through some of the top stars dive Utah Wrestling itself has to offer. Mm -hmm. Why are you chasing Bronson so hard? It's, I mean, it's pretty simple. Bronson turned his back on me when I needed him the most. When I was in that ring telling everybody I didn't know the next time I was going to be there, that was the truth. My neck is messed up. My shoulders are messed up. And then he just goes and lays me out like that when he knows my neck is hurt. Gives me a pile driver on the chair when he knows my neck is hurt. When he knows I could permanently end my career, man. It's just... You don't do that. You just... Yeah. Let's, let me jump to the clips of uh, Trey's run through right now. Here's what it looks like, looks like Being the best What it looks like To be a cut up of the press What it looks like Looks like Being the best What it looks like To be a cut up of the press oh. wow, What? This path of destruction Just to get back to Bronson it's, it's insanely personal It's happened before but The first time it happened though It was different I don't I still to this day Don't know why it happened The first time Back at UCW But Bronson saved me from a really, really dark place at UCW. And I think that's why I just keep giving him opportunity and chance after chance after chance because deep down in my heart, I, I love Bronson. Mm -hmm. He's my best friend in this entire world. And Let's talk about this a little bit. Your history with Bronson is expansive on its own. Let's put it that way. Tag team titles. Both of you are former heavyweight champions. But let's talk about who's Trey Matthews without Bronson. I mean, if you really want to look at it, I've been doing this whole dive run without Bronson the whole time. Every time Xanadu or Paradise or anybody was beating down Bronson, who came out to make the save? Trey Matthews. And yeah, I got my ass kicked a couple times because of it. But any time Trey Matthews was getting beat down, where was Bronson? Nowhere to be found. He was nowhere. I don't know where he was, what he was doing. If you look back on mine and Xanadu's match, who brought Xanadu back to the ring? Sterling Silvers, Silvers, not Bronson. Bronson seems to really be a keystone of this issue. Now that you're getting close to him and you're finally reaching your goal, why would you call for a dog collar match with an injured neck? Uh, you know, it's probably not the smartest decision I've ever made. It was definitely a uh, decision of passion and in the moment. But if you really look back on the dog collar match, it has a long and brutal and bloody history. The dog collar match is there to settle the scores when nothing else can. It's there to end the rivalry. And that's what I plan on doing. As far as my net goes, he was going to target it anyway. He knows it's hurt. So there's really no point in trying to hide it. I've been wearing the KT tape on it for months. I did want to come back on... Uh... Bronson claimed that you forced him into a ladder match that he lost his heavyweight title for. So I did want to touch on... Force? Forced him into a ladder match? If you remember right back on that stipulation, the match was Trey Matthews and Bronson versus Xanadu and Kev. Whatever winning team picked the stipulation for the anniversary show. We won. Bronson scored the pick. So guess what? I let Bronson pick the match. One, he's a champion. Two, he scored the pin. And three, that's what a good friend would do. And Bronson picked the ladder match. It's not my fault he's not athletic enough to win a ladder match. As you get close to this crazy personal match, is there any personal words you have for Bronson watching from home? Hmm, there's plenty of personal words I have, but I don't want you to use that bleep button that much. Bronson, you were my best friend, man. You... You were in the line at my wedding. Our wives know each other. We hang out at each other's houses for holidays, big events. I was the first person to see your child. I just... 
I don't understand why you would do this again because some snake in the grass Joss Damien rolls up and tells you to? Like, what is going through your head? I just, I don't understand it, Lee. I really don't. But no matter what the reason is, what's done is done, and you have done this. Bronson, at the two-year anniversary show, we are going to be chained together with dog collars and 14 feet of chain. And I'm going to make you bleed for your sins. That's, that's really all I have, man. Like, thank you so much for having me on here and doing this interview. Yeah. But, like, thanks so much for coming. Uh, make sure to follow All The Dive social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Everyone have a safe night and enjoy your day.